today. Home win, 2-1. Up we go. What are we saying, Ludi? Hello? Five games to go for the Reds of Crawley and Monday's heavy defeat, the Barrow season. Back in the bottom two. Today's opponents are 11th placed at Tranmere. Winless in six before Monday's victory over Swindon Town. So can the Reds continue their good recent home form and pick up the points needed to launch the great escape and make sure that they are playing League Two football next season here at the Broadfield Stadium. Well, a very good afternoon, everybody. And a very warm welcome from the Broadfield Stadium from me, Gary Smith, here, my fellow commentator for this afternoon. And along with my summariser, my usual home match summariser, former Crawley Town defender, Tony Vesey. We are all set to bring you full match coverage of this fixture. some uh, appreciative applause from those around us in the West End because someone with the experience Tony of Hemmings bearing down on him could have uh, got his angles and his footing and everything completely wrong there the young defender for Crawley here's Oti though breaking left hand side of the box can he get it square sells a bit of a dummy surely a shooting opportunity and a goal opportunity Real Oti with some nifty footwork and he buries it in the back of the net for goal number seven for him for the season. And Crawley deservedly are back on level terms well before the break. And Oti with some lovely trickery, went one way, went the other, back on his right foot. And he buried it past Hevelt. And with 29 and a half on the clock, it is Crawley won. Tranmere Rovers won, Tony. Nothing less than Crawley deserved. No, absolutely, we deserve to be. 1-1. Tranmere Rovers won. The equaliser coming courtesy of Rem Oti after 29 minutes. Here's Gordon standing the ball up. Ransom gets the header down. It's in the net! Crawley have turned it around! And it's Jack Powell who's celebrating! And Crawley take the lead five minutes before the break. It was floated in from the far side. Ransom won the first header down. And Jack Powell flicked it home. And it's nothing less than Crawley deserved despite going behind. They have been on the front foot for the remainder of the half, Joe, and they deservedly have the lead going into the break. Jack Powell has the goal. Crawley have the lead. It could be a vital lead. It's Crawley 2, Tranmere Rovers 1.
few moments ago. Tranmere had a chance early in the second half as Tranmere attacked down the right hand side. Chance the ball into the box. A gungbo goes down the line from it's a penalty. flagged. And he's given a penalty kick here. A gungbo went down as Turner Cook tried to play it in from the far side. And this could be a big, big moment, Joe. I don't know if you want to come back to me in a moment or stick with me whilst Tranmere organise themselves to take the penalty, but they're going to have a chance from 12 yards. And Corriadai make up for the error that led to the first Tranmere Rovers goal after just eight minutes. Here comes Hemmings now, right footed. Corriadai saves it! It's been saved and it put wide in the post! Corriadai has saved the penalty from Hemmings! It's absolutely brilliant for Crawley! Everybody in the red shirt converges on the goalkeeper, went to his right hand side and makes the save. And what a moment, Joe, that could be, not just today, but in terms of the remainder of the season. If Crawley are going to stay up, that could be a pivotal moment. Hemmings has missed the penalty and Crawley still lead 2 1, Joe. all the way through him out and the referee blows the final whistle and Crawley Town the moon and for the first time this season they have come from behind to find themselves in a winning position and they have held on at half time they were leading 2-1 and at full time they win by two goals to one that time again Lama. Thank <laughs> you. 